All right, folks, there's the time and the date. We got C2. I'm going to move down here. And don't be afraid to freeze this stuff and go back to it. The number one thing that I want to show you is this corner thing. Okay. Now, we know if you go and watch the videos that I've favored in the past, we know secrets of Hollywood and we know secrets of NASA. Don't need to go any farther than that. All right. This is a circled shade that has to be put up to be able to view the sun right now because the sun is in the supergiants. And if you can see, when we see the circle of the shade, we see tons of objects, which there is. There's tons of objects up there. And you see the circle of the shade that has to be put up to be able to see the sun and the other objects. And there's always the Vs, folks. There's infinite Vs in space. Okay. So it's going to be very interesting to figure out what the space lab was actually taking of each other. Now you'll see the squares, which basically are square shots of photographs that get computerized placed where they're supposed to be, where they're taken at. And yes, folks, they are looking at the sun and looking at everything that's going on on the sun because you can see all the squares of all the satellite shots that whether they get video or whether they get satellite photos, which the squares are digital satellite photos to be grouped GPS where they're supposed to be. Okay, so these objects are all correct, and we can zoom in at a hundred a thousand percent. Since you know that we're where we're at now, I will zoom in, and then I'm going to show you the pull axis turn, folks. The pull axis turn, which is correct, and my mic is working a little bit better because I didn't listen to what the computer screen said to do to adjust the mic. I just adjusted it by the opposite of what they told me. So my sound is working a little bit better, is it not, folks? That's right. Okay, so we're going to zoom in on this object here on the sun on the back side of C2, and there's our time. Okay, folks, it doesn't really matter the time, but there it is. Zulu, and there's our date. And as we move down and pan from the left corner of C2, this is Lasco C2, as IE, you will notice that there's always different layers, ladies and gentlemen, because the idea that we do not have Saturn, Venus, and Mercury in these shots, at least I don't believe. If you can find them, then they're there. Otherwise, this is a shaded view, i.e. the corners that I just showed you, that the idea that that is a circular of another layer that they always do is which we do know from people that do visit Dutch Sense and have other videos which are not wackos that the idea that number one I can sit in state and never be argued down scientifically that there are way more than one Sun because the Sun's in the supergiants and there are good, good chance that even when we're just in a normal Milky Way universe and not intertied the way we are now and all the asteroids and everything that's coming together on this corner of our universe where we are coming back to the Sun and also the moon is catching back up with us okay so here's your four corners real fast boom boom and satellite pictures shots and well it'll show that the idea that all the scientists in the world and Everything that knows knowledge, Siente, Tridens, is looking at the sun and seeing what's going on, okay? So as we will even, I'll just even pan down and we'll pop back to like 400% and we'll look at the sun, okay? And then I'm going to have to freeze and add back up and we're going to take a look at this triplex, which is a lot of Vs that we have in space and outer space and the sun. And we're going to take a look at that there, zoom in on that there on the sun from C2. All right, so and here we go, folks. I've zoomed into a thousand percent of what we have on that one object, that triplex that we're looking at. So, tetrahydrons, people bust my balls, and I don't care how you spell it. And we got a nice cluster of something there, okay? And these are satellite pictures and shots and video overlaid on each other. And yes, folks, scientists and everybody are trying to figure out what this stuff is. All we know is that we have diamond triangulation all the time in outer space, folks lots of triangulation of and we are probably very precisely in the Big Bang maybe there was way more than one Big Bang that's something theoretically to be and that's Beano Black LLP all rights reserved so the idea that there is all kinds of stuff 
that has exploded at some time or other in space, in time, in our clock. Okay, so a lot of it is triangulated. Lots of stuff is also rectangular and other shapes, but we have a predominant in outer space of triangulation of stars, clusters, asteroids, comets, and like I said, when something man-made blows up in space, it looks like pencils. It looks like pickup sticks. There's a big signature difference between something man-made and Mother Nature, whatever you want to call space, the Almighty Spirits, God, and everything. Okay, so uh, you can scan through this. You can even possibly go to it. There's the corner of the shade, very brightness to the left and right. Uh, I go very Mark Twainish on everything to do with anything with the space program in the past. Everything is done tongue in cheek, and everybody knows the truth, or at least a majority know the truth. And the sheep can sit in the corner and sit there and go ba 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 every day of the week. I know the truth. A lot of military people know the truth. A lot of people that research and look for the truth and survival of the fittest, ladies and gentlemen. Knowing and knowledge and having a brain and being able to figure stuff out and not listen to everybody and be bantered down. So, there's the truth from being on black, ladies and gentlemen. So, I pretty much scanned through this here photo. And now I'm going to move over and take a little bit less time and go to showing you the pole turn, ladies and gentlemen. So, we've been showing you the sun. And now we're going to go to showing you that the idea that we have had axis change and pole change on Mother Earth, Mother E. E is Earth, ladies and gentlemen. So if I ever talk real short, when I say E, I mean Earth. And there are tons of planets in the universe, ladies and gentlemen. You can see them right there as we scan through just a shaded version of looking at the sun. And as you see from my earlier video tonight, you can look at all my videos, folks, start tying things together because I can only do everything every 15 minutes or something like that. And then I have to download time and so forth. So there's the sun with all the dresses off, folks. And the idea you don't see Saturn, Venus, and Mars right now. And they might be in these shots, but they're not as big as the other bigger ones. So there are layers, folks. There's always layers to the truth and layers to what? Control. And it works for all of us, folks. There's always somebody smarter thinking about all of us. At least we think. That's what we're a little bit worried about these days. Who is really in control? Do they have a brain or are they brain dead? So at least some of our ex-military and current military people are pretty smart. Otherwise, I wouldn't get these videos. So I'm going to freeze and go to another shot. Real quick, you need to watch the other videos. There's Venus, there is Mercury, and there is Saturn. You need to go back and watch my other video today, the 18th, 10 18, 2011, ladies and gentlemen, if you are behind the times. Okay, folks, our satellites have been stationary for years, and they're going to stay that way. There is where the center of the axis of the Earth has been for a long time. The heat signature and the cool spot will show you where it is reappropriating itself. You take a pencil through the center of this cool spot, right there. And we're lucky enough today that we're not hot. Normally this would be red if we're moving through space real fast. We are somewhat unexplanatory at this point in time, but a lot cooler than the hot right here. Okay, so you put, put a pencil through this, right dead center in that cool spot right there on that halo. We're not at our axis we used to be here. Okay, blown up for your ear, for real facts. Your tax is paid for this, folks. You get to see this stuff. This is all tax paid property here. Okay, here we go dead center right there pretty much be a good guess there's where the center of the north pole used to be ladies and gentlemen we're looking at northern world action j ladies and gentlemen all right so there's where it used to be ladies and gentlemen and somewhere around here is where it is now so we have ad axis turn more taxpayers statistics and data ladies and gentlemen there you go and here we go welcome to antarctica ladies and gentlemen I've given you videos before, and that was the beginning of a lot of people paying attention to some of my videos. Is some of the international, and we thank all the international scientists down there doing their job in the Antarctic. And here we go. Pretty much more than likely, the new dead center of the lower axis, 
right there, ladies and gentlemen. Put a pencil through it from the last shot I just showed you. It's not where our satellites are stuck and where our satellites pretty much ain't going to change. But I tell you what, since Bino has opened his big fat mouth about some other things like the volume on the rads, and I'll never lie to you that on my pirate site, ladies and gentlemen. I'll try to keep the truth up there as much as we can. All the birthing parents in the world, mothers, fathers, and stuff like that, there are certain places that you need to be to make sure that your kids are nice and healthy. All right, so we got the... Polar axis is changing, ladies and gentlemen. The world is changing as we speak. There we go. More than likely, right there, there's where it used to be. More data in a second. Okay, folks, if you pay attention to my other video, the 10-18th, 2011, this was in there. You go back to my last video, 10-18, 2011, you will see this. This is actual data. Your tax dollars pay for this, okay? We have turned towards Greenwich. X is the axis. I could be wrong on this, but it's going to be pretty hard to somebody tell me that I'm wrong on this because X is the axis of the mass of the Earth. It's the lower part. So the idea of the axis has kicked towards Greenwich. That means the northern part has to turn to the left. So we will get more accurate in the future on telling you exactly how many degrees the Earth has turned. And everything's safe and everything is all hunky dory and all is well. And we do have these, and I'm going to show you another map of the ice ionosphere folks where it's weak at and that's where we get a lot of these quakes from the sun and the supergiants tetrahydrons of the sun positive and negative electrons that come down and blast the earth's magnet we have a magnetic field I'm an electrical engineer electrician and the idea that I have found the world's or the universe is one of the world's universe's largest motors I'm a man we all like fast motors horsepower there's a big monster with Earth and us and all the objects in space. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thin spot. Positive negative. Coming through the low ionosphere. Okay. And might be able to get to come up again. But there is a low spot there. Low spot here. The tetrahydrons and the electrical energy can come through that very thin layer right now. We also have one in Chile and Brazil over here. And I think that's even kind of subliminally somewhat highlighted right here and here. And there's another shot I'll go to. And here's another one of those shots, folks, that shows you. And basically over here to the right, same shot where it's out in the Pacific, Hawaii, and that the volcano is going crazy, and we got volcanoes going down in New Zealand. It's thin. The tetrahydrons, electrical energy from outer space gets through. Solar flares and the supergiants and other light sources, electrical energy in space. Bam and bam. And also here, scientists at NASA that do know what I'm saying, Listen to the pie hole, and I agree with you if you're on the same page as me. So the theory can kind of match up, folks, when, you, when I talk about Rigel, because the idea that it's the very thin layer still here in, and I don't, I apologize to the countries of Chile and Brazil, but we're talking about South America here, ladies and gentlemen. So you can see the thin layer right there that's still catching through. The shot that I saw earlier today when I was looking at the data is no longer there. The ones I just showed you a few minutes ago will show you that pretty much still the same footprint as this here and they seep through and then the other area is right here which is the other side of this right here ladies and gentlemen so there's this is the thin area that gets through with the tetrahydrons and the electrical energy from outer space so folks there's lots of ways and basically I have my disclaimer so the idea that you can look at these people's maps which is basically this is government where they get this information this is all the U.S. tax dollars and other countries' tax dollars showing you and keeping an eye on electrical energy in space, and they will show you the graphs that come through, and we'll show you. So, folks, here's another shot, and we'll zoom it in to 400%, and there you go. It's your tax dollars at work, and we're showing you the truth here, and there it is. The center is that much off, and this shot is when I'm not even going to read it. There you go. You get the time and the date. should be on here somewhere, somewhere in this graph. Not really worried about finding it right now, but this is another one that's basically might be older than the one I just showed you. This is September 9th, yeah. So we are cooler now. This is when it was hotter. And there was the pole axis right there, folks. That's how far it was off. And the last shots I showed you that was cooler, i.e. you don't see the red, it's cooler and we are somewhat settling down. Now, we, we never know when, when we're done. Mother Nature and Mother Earth is always turning. Yes, folks, this is the other thin shot of back on September 9th where we were getting a lot more action there. And we still somewhat are, but the last shots I showed you are more current. So this thin layer is more to the Pacific Ocean now. So folks, a very good observation here of the idea that they can see, and here you get to see, through the 
cover-up of the legal disclosure.